Archimedes. This is a short story that revolves on the life of Nico, a man that believes in how amazing science is. It's already 12 o'clock in the morning. set alarm to 5 o'clock a.m. I'm going to sleep because tomorrow I hope that it will be a great day for me to start Nico is currently a grade 6 student. He is always bullied by how nerdy he looks. A shy kid with different thoughts and questions lying on his young mind. Aren't you get tired of reading? Look, it's science again. Come on, let's go home. I'm always amazed by the mystery science that hides. Even if I'm not the most intelligent student in high school, I will never get tired of learning. I will never be faced by how complex it is to study science. Really, it's frustrating, you know. Come on, let's go home. It's time. Hey Nick, hurry, it's raining!
Hey Nick. Yes. I'm just wondering why did the boat float and the stone sunk? Aren't we heavier? Yes, we're heavier, but hmm, you have a point. Just just wondering why did the boat float and the stone sunk? Aren't we aren't we heavier? Aren't we heavier? This principle. <laughs> After a series of hours of discussion, Nico shared his childhood memories to the class about his curiosity on why do she floats when stones don't that led to his realizations on the principle of Archimedes. That's why I studied science seriously in high school and took a course focusing in one branch of science as my course in college. Science is a mystery, and those who try to dig deep into it are brave beings. Um, sir, I have a question, sir. Yes? Um, why, do, uh, why do ship floats in the ocean then, sir? Um, Archimedes principle. The ship floats in the ocean is acted upon by a force pushing upward called the buoyant force, which is equal to the weight of the fluid that body displaces. May I hear, sir? Yes. According to Archimedes' principle, if the body is completely submerged, the volume of the fluid displaced is equal to the volume of the body. If the body is only partially submerged, the volume of the fluid displaced is equal to the volume of the part of the body that is submerged. Oh, it's already time. So before our class ends, I would like to tell you, my dear students, that no matter how life weights you down, increase your force in order to float. And be a ship that stays on top.